was quite a hard wicket to to really fight for a, a result in three days with the first day rained out. But um, you know, there's some serious contributions in this game on both teams, and uh, you know, at least we can take some positives out of it. Absolutely, it's just been a phenomenal display of, of batting skill, I suppose. And I'm generally happy I'm not a bowler, but after this game, I'm very, very happy I'm not a bowler. It was a tough twirl for the guys out there. You'd have expected with the rain around for two or three days, the surface might have given a bit more assistance. But the guys rolled out quite a good surface here for batting. I'd have to say it's one of the flatter ones I've seen. And take nothing away from the performances. Tiana scored a, a good century. Rudy, first uh, inning century was very good. And then obviously very happy for our guys. Uh, first double up for Vorno. And then uh, Sen Mutasami scored his, his first century uh, for the Dolphins. And he turned it into a big one. So lots to be happy about. I think a guy like Rudy, second, the 100 he made was uh, was very positive the way he batted. Tiana's again, Tiana's is just a, a classy player. And he's just shown that. Our two seamers, Budaza, Zuma. They got the opportunity to, to, to bowl and Zuma making his debut as well. So there's there's some positives we can take out of it. I think it depends on what happens in the two other games. It looks like they might head into draws. Then it means we're probably going to next week sort of where we were. Quite a, a bunched uh, leader log, I suppose. Um, we'd like to, to see results, I, sp I suppose. You know, Unless it's like really going into the last session of day four and it could go either way. I think those are the type of games we'd like to be involved in. But you get some of these and it gives guys opportunity to get some runs on the board as well which is also pleasing so not a train smash considering um, what's happening around the country but we'd like to at least get full bonus points so that's probably one area we'd like to tweak if we can but yeah lots to play for it's exciting competition this I can't remember the the four-day competition in South Africa being this close uh, with three games to go so it's um, it's very exciting yeah you always want to play and play for a win but uh, you know at least there's still five of probably all six teams now that's that's very close to the top so it still keeps this competition very open and, and interesting.